Okay, so now we've added our elements to the view, and we've even written code in previous steps that controls the behavior of these elements, but we haven't connected these controls to the behavior we wrote before. Uh, I'm going to do that now, but before we do that, I want to actually build the project and run it to make sure that this slider and label appears in the window like we expect, and it seems to. Uh, it doesn't have any behavior yet, obviously. We can just move this thing along, and it doesn't do what ex I expect it to do yet. Um, and so just a real quick recap. This is uh, what we're going to connect to uh, the control. We're going to control connect this action, this update label action, and we're also going to connect the uh, the label and slider. So how you make connections is you use this file owner icon and you control click it and drag it to the uh, elements on your view. So I'm going to control click files owner and drag it over to my label and you can see that this little dialog comes up and you select the uh, element this corresponds to. So we know that the label we, we threw on here really is going to correspond to my label that we wrote in class which of course I spelled not incorrectly. But that's okay. Um, and we do the same thing for the slider. We drag the blue line over to the slider control and choose my slider. So what this has done, this this means now that the slider we wrote uh, we wrote up in our code file is now going to correspond to the slider we used here and also the label we used here is going to correspond to the label in our file. Now to hook up an action to a control, you do the opposite. So you choose the slider you control click that and drag it over to files owner and then you choose the action and I'm going to now run the project and show you what happens okay so now when I touch the slider something happens it changes the label to the value that the user is is on the slider right now. So that means every time the slider ball moves, the the update label action gets initiated. And that's really essentially it. That's how to use interface builder to use a slider control.